boom. Meg cries in shame as neighbors disclose secrets about Montecito home they rent it not buy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's seating arrangement at St. Paul's Cathedral on June 3rd has sparked the mockery of the Montecito author. During the service of thanksgiving for the Jubilee, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle joined most members of the firm to pay tribute and celebrate the record-breaking reign of the Queen. Their status as non-working royals was reflected in the seating plan. Despite the Duke of Sussex being sixth in line to the throne, he and Meghan sat in the second row rather than next to the heirs to the throne. The Sussexes were behind the Earl and Countess of Wessex, who have been senior members of the firm since the early 2000s, their children, and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, who have served the crown since the 1970s. More than a week after the Sussexes returned to the U.S., Montecito author Robert Iringer discussed the relevancy of Meghan and Harry in a comment piece for the Santa Barbara News Press titled The Duke and Duchess of Woke, or Woe. After claiming that the Platinum Jubilee celebrations showed the British firm is more popular than ever and was capable of moving on following Harry and Meghan's damaging claims and allegations launched during their interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, Mr. Iringer gave to the Duke the nickname Second Row Harry. He wrote, The Duke's new nickname might as well be Second Row Harry, based on the seating arrangement for a Thanksgiving service inside St. Paul's Cathedral, at which, upon arrival, the Duke and Duchess were booed by spectators. While other non working royals such as the Tyndalls, Lady Sarah Chatto, and Lady Gabriella Windsor arrived by bus to the cathedral, Meghan and Harry were driven there in a separate car. Upon entering the church, the couple was met with a mix of boos and cheers from members of the public standing outside, as noted by commentators on the day. Meghan and Harry were also booed while leaving the cathedral, once again in a separate car from their royal relatives. This was the last public event attended by the Sussexes during their brief stay in the UK. On the first day of the extended bank holiday weekend, the Duke and Duchess were spotted watching the Trooping the Colour Parade alongside other members of the firm from the Major General's office. Much like Harry's cousins Eugenie and Beatrice, he and Meghan were not invited on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch the RAF fly past as they no longer have a working role within the firm. Meghan and Harry were also booed while leaving the cathedral, once again in a separate car from their royal relatives. This was the last public event attended by the Sussexes during their brief stay in the UK. On the first day of the extended bank holiday weekend, the Duke and Duchess were spotted watching the Trooping the Colour Parade alongside other members of the firm from the Major General's office. Much like Harry's cousins Eugenie and Beatrice, he and Meghan were not invited on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch the RAF fly past as they no longer have a working role within the firm. As they no longer